Anime fans don't usually earn the most respectful reputation. Whether we're considered to be shut-ins, losers, creeps, etc. People are usually content to leave the whimsical weeaboos to their own devices. On occasion, however, there are those few people that are willing to take the plunge to dive into the world of soon to raise and jiggle physics, of screaming overpowered teenagers, and deadly high schools. Whether it's airplane girls or emotional kids and robots, the same question will arise that you must face. Which anime would you recommend? Well, allow us at Bromandy to assist you with a few suggestions for your budding new otaku friend. The first thing that I'll mention is that these aren't necessarily the best anime ever. They just seem to apply to the largest audiences possible, particularly Western audiences. That being said, these are pretty good, so if you haven't seen them, I'd definitely give them a shot. The first two recommendations you could probably see from a mile away. That's right, it's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Cowboy Bebop. Both shows have strong main characters as well as an interesting supporting cast. Bebop has a good pickup and watch feel to it, while Brotherhood has a continuous plot that has expanded upon every episode. Pairing with this is Bebop's themes of moving on from your past and Brotherhood's familial ties, as well as the influential soundtracks and openings from both anime. Ultimately, both shows have an emotional ending that has served to solidify them as an all-time anime classic and will serve as a compelling introduction to those who are new to anime. Next up are the darker and more violent recommendations. I feel pretty secure in saying that most people have that one friend who enjoys cinematic violence a little too much. So for all those gore junkies out there, I've got a couple of recommendations for you. My two recommendations for this genre are Helsing Ultimate and Black Lagoon. While these shows aren't the most incredible in regards to story, debatably, they do go into some very dark themes. Following up the previous topic, these anime also have strong soundtracks, with Helsing having the more imperial orchestrated music, while Black Lagoon has more of a hard rock style. It helps that the anime is full of memorable characters to keep you interested as the story progresses. Combine these points with tons of blood and gore, as well as Michael Bay level of explosions and violence, and you've got something to grab the attention of those who thrive on conflict. Now that we've covered mindless violence, we can move on to the mind games, the mental chess games, or to put it more bluntly, the battles of wit. My two suggestions should be fairly obvious. Code Geass and Death Note. Similar in some regards, the anime are heavily reliant on their main character's intelligence and ability to think two steps ahead of their enemies. Death Note follows a more shadow game plotline, while Code Geass adopts a militaristic class warfare medium to portray its characters' intense plotting. These two anime don't just stop with warfare, however. There are very real and meaningful motivations to these characters that you see shape the story as the anime progresses. All in all, if intrigue and intelligent design is what you're looking for in an anime, look no further than these two titles. These next two anime are a bit more niche than the rest, but they still have quite a hook to them. These anime have a main character along the lines of Captain Jack Sparrow or Iron Man, iconic heroes that are not only brought to life by their actors, but also carry the story just by the sheer love the audience has for their protagonist. These two anime are Trigun and Steins Gate. While these two are a bit more out there in terms of accessibility, so to speak, to a Western audience, I feel that if you get invested in the characters, you could very easily break through to a weeaboo's way of thinking. Both protagonists are charming and simply beg to be rooted for. As long as the viewer has an open mind, these two charming lead characters should steal the show and set quite a precedent for the anime to come. If there's anything multicultural audiences can agree on, it's definitely humor. Everyone likes to laugh, so naturally, anime has its fair share of comedies to be considered. Anime comedy, however, is still a matter of walking along the proverbial razor's edge. Anime often supplements comedy with fan service, so when recommending a show for humor, it's best to have watched it first. Depending on the person, our recommendations would be Joshi Raku, a witty, pun-filled self-aware comedy, or TQ, wild, random, fast-paced jokes for two minutes an episode. As far as comedy is concerned, it's best to be cautious when referring anime such as this as it's very anime. So it's best to recommend this to your more out there friends. Finally, we come to the final three anime on this list. I suppose this could sort of be thrown in as a subclass to the topic regarding high octane action, but I felt that this genre was worth mentioning regardless. I'm referring to the notorious death game genre, my examples for which include Dead Man Wonderland and Future Diary. If you're looking for a Monster of the Week vibe, as well as Blood and Gore to dip your plot twist in, then this will be rather advertising to a viewer of such persuasions. I will preface this with a caveat, however. These shows are also very anime. The point that should be taken from this is that these, just like the comedy anime, should be recommended to the rather accepting viewer. Recommend at your own risk. 
Anyway, that's all from us at Bromandy. We hope you enjoyed our video and suggest perusing our channel for similarly enticing content. Until next time, this has been Marcus Sensory. Bye, me.